Hi, my name is Aaron Semley and I'm the CTO of Hivite. Today I want to talk to you about getting OPC data into Azure. If you Google getting OPC data into Azure, 90% of what you'll find is this use case, streaming sensor data to the cloud. I'm here to tell you that if your industry 4.0 solution is streaming sensor data to the cloud, you're doing it wrong. Now let me explain. On the factory floor, we have machines driven by PLCs. We have an OPC server connected to those PLCs and then feeding data into an HMI. Now, HMIs and OPC servers are driven off of tags, discrete streams or value streams. Back when cloud came around in Azure, what we said was, okay, we're gonna create an IoT gateway. We're gonna connect that to the OPC server and we're gonna take those tag streams and send them out to the cloud in a JSON format that looks something like this. And then we wiped our hands with it and we said, hey, machine data is in the cloud, we're good. But here's the problem. 80% of the use cases in the cloud do not wanna deal with tags or discrete streams of data. They wanna deal with well-modeled objects. So in this use case, we're sending the tag streams into IoT Hub. Those go to Stream Analytics, which can't do much with these streams of data, unfortunately, because they're only unique by the tag name. So we need to store that in Cosmos DB, a temporary storage. And then this is where we spend most of our time. We're going to have to write functions to take these tag streams and rebuild the data models that are on the factory floor using nothing but the tag names in the streams. And here's the problem. We might figure it out for one machine, but then we move to the next machine and the tag names are different because when those tag names were created, they were between the OPC server and HMI, and they were never intended to be used to remodel data in the cloud. So not only is this work that doesn't scale well, it's also expensive work to do in the cloud because you need someone that's familiar with that environment. When the end of the day, we just want the models, the data in Power BI. So let me break that down for you real quick so you see it. We have a machine which is with a rich data model on the factory floor. We've taken that, we've smashed it up into tag, st tag streams, and now we're trying to rebuild that in the cloud, that same data model. Do you see the problem? Let me show you a better way. What if we sent the contextualized data model to the cloud and we built that on the factory floor where we have all that information at our fingertips? So now we're gonna send an injection molding model with all the data relevant, cycle time, max temp. That's gonna go into IoT Hub. IoT Hub sends us to Stream Analytics, which can easily work with a data type like this. With four lines of code or less, that goes into Power BI and we're done. Let me show you how this works with Hivite. So welcome to the Hivite Intelligence Hub. Here, what I'm going to do is define the data model that we're going to send to Azure, and then I'm going to build the connections and the flows to send that data. So the first thing I'm going to do is build the connections. I have a connection here to my OPC server, and in here you'll see the various inputs, the tags that I need to reference in the model. I also have a connection to IoT Hub, and you'll see inside of Azure, I have the IoT Hub here, as well as Stream Analytics. So to connect to Azure's IoT Hub, I use the connection string from Azure, and that's all I need. Now here's the critical part. Inside Hibite, I'm going to create the injection molding model. Now this is my enterprise wide definition of what an injection molding machine looks like. I have cycle time, max temp, min temp, and a bunch of properties. And now what I'm going to do is create instances of that model. So this is a machine, and this is how I fill the model out with OPC server tags, some SQL tags, as well as some default values. So this represents injection molding machine number one. I also have injection molding machine number two that's filled in with different OPC tags and SQL tags. Lastly, I'm going to set up a flow. So every second, I'm going to send out that data model out to IoT Hub. Now, when you look in Azure, what you'll see is I have an IoT Hub, like I said, it's going to go through that and be processed by Stream Analytics. So let's look at the query inside there. And what you'll see is this is a fairly simple query. We're taking all the attributes of the model, 
we're modifying the date a little bit to work better with Power BI, and then we're taking basically everything from IoT Hub and we're sending it out to Power BI. The only filter we have is we're filtering on the injection molding machine model. So this will only process injection molding machines. And when we jump out to Power BI, here's the data. So this is from injection molding machine one. Now, because we've modeled injection molding machine number two with the same model, we can easily select the name of the injection molding machine and see model two because it's producing the same data. And we've done this with those four lines of code or whatever it was in stream analytics. And if I go to edit the dashboard here, the report, you can see all the model attributes are automatically populated from the high byte data model. Isn't that pretty cool? That's the benefit of sending structured contextualized data to the cloud. We don't have to do all this work of putting tags back together. The data model is already there, filled in with all the information we have on the factory floor. Again, my name is Aaron Semley. I hope you enjoyed the demo. I hope that resonated with you. If you've ever tried to take tag stream data and rebuild models in the cloud, this is a better way. Reach out to Highbyte and uh, let us know what you think.